Welcome back, Lieutenant. Congratulations on the success of your mission. I'm just doing my job, Sergeant. Your success is consistent with your unit's reputation and operational history, all highly impressive. General Garza attempted to contact you a few moments ago. I took the liberty of briefing her on your mission status. Thank you very much. The General requested that you contact her before departing Taurus. The holocom in the next room has been prepared for your use. Did she tell you why she wanted to talk to me? The General did not inform me of her intentions. Congratulations once again, Lieutenant. Ah, greetings, Lieutenant. I understand congratulations are in order. Needles is neutralized, General. You've done very well. Needles was a brilliant man. Taking him down was no small feat. I haven't informed Cardin yet, but I doubt he'll be upset. He and Needles never did see eye to eye. I thought Cardin was close to everyone in Havoc. Yes, but Needles less so than the others. Purely different ideologies, those two. And yet, Tavis never had any problems with Needles. Hmm, perhaps that should have been my first warning. And there's something else, Lieutenant. Tell me, what do you think of Sergeant Dorn? Sergeant Dorn helped me when no one else would, General. Yes, your reception on Taris wasn't ideal. I'm glad you managed to find the one useful officer in the entire outpost. I looked over her service record. Impressive stuff, I must say. Were you aware that Dorn served with the Imperial military for almost two years, Lieutenant? told me she grew up in the Empire. Yes, the accent is a dead giveaway. Pure German Kaas. Sergeant Dorn earned more commendations in her two years of Imperial service than most soldiers earn in ten. Since joining the Republic, she's earned two Medals of Valor, both for rescuing wounded soldiers under fire in enemy territory. This woman has led an exceptional career. Someone with Sergeant Dorn's skills would make a great addition to my squad. I agree. Sergeant Dorn is Havoc squad material without question. It's settled then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You're halfway to a full squad. I'll contact Colonel Gaff to notify him about the transfer. You should go and inform Sergeant Dorn yourself, Lieutenant. Contact me from your ship when you've finished. Garza out. Lieutenant, sir, is there something else I can do for you? Consider this your official invitation to Havoc Squad, Sergeant Dorn. Lieutenant, this... This is the greatest honor of my career. I... I'm speechless. Don't get too excited, Sergeant. It's not as impressive as it's made out to be. Sergeant Dorn, reporting for duty, Lieutenant. I'll prepare my Regulation 6 personnel transfer documents at once. More than earn this, Sergeant. I'll gather my personal effects and meet you on board your ship, Lieutenant. Thank you. I assume Sergeant Dorn took the news well? Sergeant Dorn is honored to be in Havoc Squad. Excellent. We'll have the squad fully restaffed in no time. One other detail. Were you able to retrieve a sample of the weaponized Rakgul disease that Needles was developing? 
The last sample took a stray blaster ball while I was dealing with needles. That's too bad. Research Division would have done anything to get their hands on a sample. And I could have used the favors. That's all for now, Lieutenant. Congratulations once again. Garza out. Sir, my equipment and personal effects have been stowed in full accordance with Transport Code Section 2. If I may say so again, sir, it is truly an honor to be selected for Havoc Squad. I'm glad to have you on the team, Dorn. Thank you very much, sir. I intend to begin reviewing and memorizing all relevant dossiers and intelligence reports on our assignment immediately. If I discover any points of confusion or areas where I believe I can contribute, I'll submit a full 587B report. Carry on, Dorn. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. May I have a moment of your time? What can I do for you, Dorn? As a condition of my service in the Republic military, Personnel Division requires that I report regularly on my activities. However, my Havoc Squad missions are classified and cannot be shared with Personnel Division. I'd like to ask if you would vouch for me when I report in. I'll be happy to help. Thank you very much, sir. We should use the ship's secure line. Captain Kalor. This is Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, reporting in per Regulation 449. Please, Alara, you don't have to give me the full rundown every time. I know who you are. How are things? Well enough, sir. Allow me to introduce you to the commander of Havoc Squad, my new CO. Sir, this is Captain Kalor, Army Personnel Division. Good to meet you, Captain. The pleasure's mine. Meeting you is a real honor. Tell me about being in the top squad in the Republic, Alara. You must be keeping very busy. I'm sorry, Captain, but you aren't authorized to know about Havoc Squad's activities. My CO will have to vouch for me from now on. What? Alara, I don't want to be a hard case, but rules are rules. This top secret junk won't fly. All Havoc Squad activities are highly classified, Captain. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. <laughs> inconvenience? Just... Just carry on, Alara. We'll talk about this after I've had a word with my superiors. Kalor out. I wasn't expecting him to react so strongly. Surely he didn't expect me to report on classified information. Protecting classified information is a top priority. Yes, sir. I'm surprised the captain didn't agree. If you'll excuse me, sir, I have several matters to attend to. Thank you for your time. Inventory reports, sir. Food and medical supplies all look good, but our munitions are getting low. Thought we'd have enough to last us a year. Already requisitioned command for more. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised. See more action one day with Havoc than you see in a month with the Dead Eyes. There's a lot of demand for a unit of our caliber. We mainly ran decapitation strikes. Neutralized enemy commanders before Republic offensive. Left the opposition leaderless, disorganized. Sometimes... We'd camp outside the enemy's base for weeks, waiting for a clear shot. Eventually, we'd hit our target, pull out, let the ground pounders mop up. You must have chalked up quite a kill count. Over two dozen confirmed. Eventually, I was offered a promotion and a post on Ord Mantell. I took it. Smart move career-wise. More men, more responsibility. But I wasn't interested in fighting Separatists. Must have been an awkward transition. One day, I'm picking off Imperial Brass. The next I'm pacifying mobs of angry seps. After my transfer, Commander the Dead Eyes fell to my XO, Torf. Smart kid. A little green, but the potential was there. If he learned from you, I'm sure he's a fine officer. Only so much a person could be taught about leadership. You've either got what it takes, or you don't. Come to think of it, I haven't been in contact with the Dead Eyes for a while. I should find out where they're stationed, catch up. Sir, you should know. 
General Vander contacted me. Said he'd talk it over with the brass and finagled a way to get me back on Ord Mantell. Offered me my old post, a promotion at command of their operations there. Pretty sweet deal overall. Did you accept? Of course not. Fact is, I've been hitting the Empire harder than ever since I joined Havoc Squad. I didn't enlist to win medals or promotions. I enlisted to protect the Republic, to prove my people have a place here. The Cathar will always have a place in the Republic. I hope so. We already lost one home to the Mandalorians. I'm not about to let the Empire take another. Lieutenant, this is General Garza. I see that you've touched down on Nar Shadda. Before we begin your briefing, I want to make something clear. The situation on Nar Shadda is very delicate. This moon belongs to the Hutt Cartel, who take their neutrality very seriously. The Republic cannot afford any incidents. What exactly should I be avoiding here, sir? Imperial personnel operate just as freely on Nar Shadda as we do. You cannot be caught taking action against them. Now, your mission. An experimental Republic war droid has gone rogue, committing a series of seemingly random attacks across Nar Shaddaa. The droid's designation is M14X, and it is my belief that this droid is acting under orders from Harren Tavis. Do we know anything about the war droid's capabilities? The droid is a highly advanced prototype, one that was being developed to serve in Havoc Squad. The project was supposed to have been cancelled, but it would seem Tava simply shifted the development elsewhere, most likely his allies in the Sith Empire. Why wasn't the project completed in the first place? The droid's design relied on an exotic alien power source, but our technicians couldn't make it work efficiently. This war droid's rampage must be stopped before it's linked with the Republic. An agent of the Strategic Information Service will be assisting you. Officially, you're providing military support to an SIS operation. Do not divulge Tavis's defection, or the droid's connection to it. You can count on me, sir. Be careful, Lieutenant. If this war droid is even half as dangerous as its original designers had estimated, you'll have your work cut out for you. Garza out. <laughs>